them. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then for the 49ers, if Brock Purdy books a ticket in the Super Bowl, what else does he got to do? Yeah. I mean, at that point, he'd be 8-0. and He would have brought your team to the Super Bowl, something that Jimmy Garoppolo did, but not to the level that Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy was the last pick in the draft. He's a rookie, takes over for injured um, Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy Garoppolo, we all know, is most likely going to walk. And then you have Trey Lance, who was the third overall pick to your discretion. I don't think prior to the draft, he was even considered to be in that point. Prior to the um, draft combine, that is. Yeah. Um, just take the L with Trey Lance. It's fine. You can go and get you know some draft capital for him. Maybe you get a third or fourth round pick for him. There's teams that want to rebuild and you have a project like Trey Lance. Go ahead. Trade him away. Keep Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy is going to be the cheapest rookie contract you're going to have because he's a seventh round pick. You're going to be paying him a million dollars max, you know? So I think with a win, Brock Purdy, not only that, he also enters himself into best rookie of all time because we had Tom Brady. He wasn't quite a rookie. He was technically in his second year, but first time getting into action. And I would say Brock Purdy's played better than rookie Tom Brady. Yeah. What about rookie Patrick Mahomes if we're counting their second year, just their first year starting? I'd say Mahomes too. I don't count him. He's not he's not as cool. He's not as cool he's as not, it's not, it, it doesn't work for my story. It doesn't, it doesn't work, for, work my, for your story. It doesn't work for my arc because Patrick Mahomes had 50 touchdowns. He's obviously the the best first year starter. Right. But he <laughs> came into the league, he came into that year being the starter. Right. But Brock Purdy, he took over for an injured Jimmy Garoppolo. Tom Brady came in for an injured Drew Bledsoe. Coming in as a quarterback injured and having that run that he's had, elevating the team, making the team better. Yeah. People like him. It's like, I think you should go with the locker room. And I think the locker room has way more faith in Brock Purdy than they do in Trey Lance. Yeah. And then they do in Trey Lance. And there's a lot of teams that need a quarterback next year. Um, Trey Lance posted a cryptic tweet, actually, because the new general manager for the Titans is going to be coming over from the San Francisco 49ers. So there's some rumblings that the Tennessee Titans may be interested in Trey Lance. Um, if that was the case, is that something you want to see? Um, sure. What do you think you could get for Trey Lance? Because I don't think he does demands a number one pick anymore. No. He's not gonna get he's not gonna get a first round pick for him. No. In fact, if somebody does trade a first round pick for him, I'm gonna be on the show to bully them. Because that's, <laughs> that's bad. Because I have not seen enough from Trey Lance. In fact, I had already proclaimed him a bust. Maybe that was too early, but yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it from him, and he just doesn't look like the guy. I think you could command probably a third round pick. Probably get a you can probably get a basket of picks, maybe a third, and then a fourth next year, and then maybe a sixth. Just get like a, a couple of mid tier picks. Him to the Titans, I mean, best of luck with him. I mean, Mike Vrabel, maybe get him some receivers. Maybe get him a, a wide a running back that's not in his 30s. Yeah. And maybe I'll have some faith in that team. But for the Titans, it's like, depending on what you give up for him, it's like sort of a low risk, high reward. See what happens. Yeah. 